I chose IB because I thought it was a more current, modern course. The reason why I chose IB, instead of having one main goal of a final exam, you know, it's lots of little steps that you build up to. I picked the IB because I'm an international student from Germany. I thought it's like better to do the IB because of its international status. The thing I like most about the IB is how I can still um, continue subjects from GCSE so I haven't lost out on um, exploring other interests. Organising your time because sometimes in the IB you get subjects where there's a lot of coursework. With all the deadlines of the IAs I think that's um, difficult. What's also difficult is that um, you have to um, really study from the, from, from the beginning. I think the IB will really help me in the sense of um, organisational skills, time management. It will also help me have more of a global perspective and interest in life. I think by doing a global geography topic has actually been able to let me explore my interests into now wanting to either do global studies or human rights at university. It will have developed me into a better person, a better learner. It is more careers related. I think that is its biggest strength is that it will help you be more independent in your work, more organised, you know, just I think it helps you adapt to the outside world really. I, th I think there should be a bit more exams in the first year because I think that will encourage you to study. Maybe having more lesson time for some of the standard level subjects because for example in the maths curriculum you have about a week and a half um, to go through each topic which can be quite tight um, so I do wish that we had more time to go through topics. If you pick the IBDP, you, more or less the subjects that you do within that are going to be, um, you are going to be in classes with other people who aren't doing the IBCP and so that's quite nice in a sense because it acts as a bridge. I would say pick your higher level subjects wisely because the amount of work feels less if you enjoy it. If you do go on to study IB then stay on top of your work and constantly remind yourself of why you're doing it and why you're motivated to study these subjects. Do independent work and independent learning and just have a, um, a constant view of the future and what you hope to achieve and be reminding yourself of that. <laughs>